Hey everyone, it's Base Jump here transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video. And yes, finally back with my chart haul for like April 2K17. A little late, but as I've told you in my last video, I've been ill and stuff after coming like back from Munich and the flu got me, a cold got me, and I wasn't able to shoot a proper video um, apart from this like little announcement, hello, I'm still alive and stuff. So I'm a little bit late, but now I'm back and I'm working again, working on videos and stuff, and working on other stuff as well, which you will hear about very soon. But now I'm going to present you with my favorite like CD and vinyl releases of this month and stuff. And we're going into this with a release on Nakama Records, Index by Agnes, however the name is, Vitstalek, maybe like Hungarian or something like that. It's an interesting one for sure because the artist, you see the D and the big fingerprint on here, works only with her voice recorded on a big chimney and like, um, yeah, with the sounds and surrounding sounds of the city and stuff. Uh, very interesting, very experimental, of course, and like uh, you will hear the uh, vocals or the vocal cords of the artist produce sounds a human voice shouldn't be able to produce, I guess. So it's very intense and very experimental. So if you're into that kind of music, check that out. The next one comes from the Norwegian label Hubro Music, Dan Le Abres, I guess is the name, Phosphorescence. Once again, you re uh, might recognize a classical like Hugo music score with a, with a green stripe and the logo and stuff. CD opens like this, very glossy, shiny cover. Here's the backside. Another project from the vast Norwegian like jazz experimental scene, but this is more like ambient -y and uh, very floaty and stuff. The Hugo music label releases quite a bunch of uh, music which is both like in the in the jazz or comes from the jazz scene kind of but branches out it's a very experimental music also free jazz also a little bit of folk but this is more like ambient phosphorescence by Dorsley Abres. Next one is a special for all Germans um, because it's only available in like Austria, Switzerland and Germany and it came with the um, latest issue of the Music Express magazine, which is uh, like a rare one, like in terms of having a magazine coming with, uh, with vinyl, but it came with an exclusive seven inch version of Deepesh Mode's Versa Revolution, backed by a live version of Should Be Higher, recorded in Berlin, like a track from the Delta Machine album, it was like a promotional seven inch copy which came only with the magazine, is not available in regular stores and of course promotes a new Depeche Mode album spirit. And I would be curious to know how many of these were pressed because like uh, the magazine is one of the oldest music magazines in Germany, I guess, and still comes with a pretty big print run. So I guess it must be 5,000 plus of these like circulating worldwide I guess way more so uh, this is might be an interesting thing to know how much the like, Columbia record company which is re responsible for Depeche Mode right now in association with Mute Records of course um, has spent to, to get this seven inch this special seven inch out there. Next one is a seven inch as well modulator acid bang and you've seen this in an unboxing video so um, you know what this is all about Freddie Fresh is behind this and like of course it's like acid classic acid stuff very recommended limited print run of i guess 200 or 300 i guess uh some something in that vein and i got this sent by freddy fresh himself so if you look out for that unboxing video of this specific seven inch um, i will link to this in the description box uh, not in the description box at the end of the video when the end card pops up and stuff so you will be able to check that out Next one, also a limited one, the Convent 1986 to 2016. You can see here a limited edition of 500 copies minus copy 13. The Convent is a band who has been around for ages and never actually split up. Here's a beautiful gatefold cover if you can see that. 
And I got this because my friend Jojo Brandt, with whom I also run the Beta Safari parties and who's also in um, the band Sonnenbrand, is a founding member of the convent, an old, like, well, I would say indie pop with like post punk and wave influences, an um, old band. And the band has never officially split up in all these years, although they have, haven't released music for, I guess, ten, more than 10 years together. So they decided to, like celebrating their 30th anniversary, um, to put up a double album which includes like old hits and like special versions, remixes, alternative versions and stuff that fans demanded to have on vinyl so they can celebrate their 30th anniversary. With this album, and I'm pretty glad to have this, and Yo is a good friend of mine and stuff, we know each other for like a few years right now, and the artwork is definitely beautiful. Yeah, I'll show it again. And if Mr. Eric Medeiros or um, James Buttery from Australia is watching this, you should definitely look out for this album because this is definitely good. Very melancholic and, well, darkish and stuff. Very interesting and it's always good to have music around in your place where friends are involved and stuff. And we are about, as I said, to restart the Bitata Five parties and I will let you know when this will happen. Uh, the date is fixed, but I will have to announce a few things before that, before I finally get to announce the Bitata Five on my YouTube. Next one is interesting stuff too. Rubber. World of Rubber Volume 3. I hope that this works with the glare. I will take out the vinyl just to show it to you because it's beautiful virgin white vinyl on both sides with a white label. Uh, well, I put some notes on here because uh, I want to know which, which is the A side. Contains a few tracks by Group A, Interstellar, Funk, Leuk and Overdose, which is actually DJ Overdose, I guess. And it's a very interesting stuff. Here's a sleeve. Um, the artwork is just a print, like in like 12 inch format. Here you can see the all the bands and stuff. And here's the full artwork. Very interesting album, like six track album, which contains uh, a lot of like different music. I'd say uh, acid as like underground acid stuff like you would expect from labels like Bunker Records and stuff also post-punkish cold wave industrial stuff and also like no wave minimal wave with like Dutch lyrics which are uh, sounding very funny and this will definitely be a part of the uh, Beta Zafal series as well of my DJ sets in there so if you're able to, to grab a copy of this like buy it blindfolded because it's really good music on there and also very interesting and very diverse and like coming from the deepest undergrounds so or if you're interested in that, get this. And uh, now we're going back, I guess, to the year 2014, if I'm not mistaken. Or 2012, I don't know exactly. Amber's Vision, a like four track 12 inch on the Praxis label, which is run by Christoph Fringerli, a Swiss guy, now based in uh, Berlin, who also runs a record store together with uh, Yaya23, which is also a record store and a kind of clothing store as well, underground tribe techno clothing store. This is very, very interesting. On the two tracks are like in the breakcore dark jungle vein, and one track is more like cold industrial dubstep, and one track is like banging 4 4 hardcore. For those who can take like really hard underground electronic music, and I got this because Christoph showed up in the records that I work at just to leave um, a few records in there. So I like saved a few copies for myself of the Praxis releases I didn't have before, I guess. So this was one of this uh, them, and also this is the other one. Electric Kettle, news from Berlin, also a four track vinyl um, which comes from a French producer of course um, more in the vein of like you can see the label print in the vein of breakcore IDM dark underground electronic music um, very hard stuff and I discovered electric cattle back in I guess 2000 two or 2003 when he released a record on one of my favorite breakcore label of that time which was a piece of Imprint, which also um, has like sub labels like Damage and um, 
get Brothers in Blood is one. And the uh, 12 inch I got back in the days of Electric Kettle was uh, Fast and Ceremony and Ultra Discipline, which is still a very recommended hard breakcore ish, dark jungle influenced music. Very raw. This is more like um, well splintered and very detailed production and more like in the IDM vein in, if it comes to, to production value and stuff and not that raw but still hard good music released in 2012 or 2014 as the record before so these are two like older records who have made it into my charts in this month and these were the last records as well yeah you got the the whole overview of what I liked in, in this month and stuff and the stuff I bought and Maybe I will have to cut back on buying vinyl for a few weeks uh, due to several reasons, but um, there's so much good stuff coming up, so I will have to find a way to to buy my like monthly dose of records anyway. So yeah, now I'm going into editing and get stuff to just uh, upload this video quickly because I know you've been waiting for that and. I have got some news to come for like bookings and stuff and I'm working still on like getting DJ sets all over the place and uh, I wait for a few replies now and I've been on the phone with various clubs so news are to come soon and I'm out for today and going to the editing in, as I said. If you like this one um, give me a thumbs up, leave me your thoughts, leave me a comment, you know the score and I will talk to you in the next one. See you later.